the spooky family so today I thought I would get one of my reviews out of the way because I'm really slacking at my videos but I want to get them on the go and I want to be able to take Penny Dreadful off my board of reviews today so we're going to do that today. Now I have a love-hate relationship with Penny Dreadful. It sucked. <laughs> Chris says it sucks. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I feel like the characters have a really deep story but it's poorly executed. Penny Dreadful is, well, dreadful. And uh, I could see how even the most deepest of horror fan, anybody in the gothic scene that loves that show, I could see how people can lose interest. It is definitely not a show that you can marathon. I think it lacks music within the episodes, because, like, music is a big thing. When you watch a show and you hear music come on, that kind of jolts you, jolts you to pay attention. You want to know what the fuck's going on. Alan is just silent, and the way that they act, it's either overacted or underacted. I don't know if this was some cool joke, I don't know if it was done on purpose. I really loved the storyline of Frankenstein and his first monster. I thought that was a really cool kick-ass spin on it. However, even Frankenstein's monster was getting a little bit on the whiny side for me. Mrs. Ives, or Miss Ives, or whatever her name is. I don't know. As soon as her exorcism or demonic thing, ha like she's she's a weird character, and I can appreciate what they're trying to do, but <laughs> she is awfully boring. I found her storyline to be awfully, awfully, awfully boring. Even when it showed what was going on in the maze with her mom and this and that. It was just boring. <laughs> like, absolutely boring. The most exciting part is when she has the demon in her and she's about to rip everybody's throats out. And the thing with Dorian Gray, uh, I don't even like that story to begin with. And... Yay. <laughs> it's like... I don't even know. I don't really have much to say about this show because I actually had to stop watching it. I made it to season two. And everybody recommended the show to me and they said it's marvelous. And I could see how, like, you know, I can watch one episode and then go without it for a few months and watch another episode and go without it for a few months because you cannot marathon that shit. You just can't. Not at all. And, like, even when they were looking for Mina, it was very repetitive. It was like, <gasps> Mina, <gasps> Mina, <gasps> What's that? Oh my god. And even the fights with the vampires weren't that impressive. Like, come on! What the shit? I gotta say that the only interesting part was Frankenstein and his monster. That's about it. I didn't find the werewolf interesting. I didn't find the rich guy interesting. To me, it was like, hashtag rich people problems, because they're like, just sitting there like, oh my god, I cheated on my fat wife with her skinny mama and all this kind of stuff, and oh look at my expedition, ah, just shut up man, get to the point, it was, it was dreadful for me to watch, so I give this one a dreadful review sort of thing, and I really don't have anything else to say on it except that. So. Thank you for watching this poor review of a poor show. If you would like to subscribe, go ahead and do that. And don't forget to click the little bell thingy so you can see when I upload. If you want to become a member of my spooky family, as my followers have dubbed themselves, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I don't really post anything on Twitter that much because I'm a lazy tweeter. And... Um, I guess that'll be all for now. Thank you for watching and adios.